Welcome to the Geico ESPN High School Football Showcase and welcome to South Georgia. This is a home environment that Colquitt County is very proud of and Cedar Grove comes on the road tonight trying to ruin an undefeated season and also get a top 25 win nationally against the Packers that have rolled so far this year at 4-0. Oh. Down. Uh, he's clearly down there. A shot to the end zone, and it's caught. Was he in bounds? Yes, he was. The Georgia commit, Nykar, with a 23-yard touchdown. Smart wide receiver. Exactly where the mark was, and the snap is high again. And Colson can't get on top of it, and it's six points for Colquitt County. Tyshawn Reed off of the air and snap for a touchdown. Off another play fake, fan dancing around, and he gets free, throws it to the end zone, and a diving catch made for a touchdown. Landon Thomas on the improvisational play from fan. The hazard there for Devin Carter. So with him off the field, Bo Walker barreling his way to the goal line, and Cedar Grove has a touchdown for the first time. Colquitt County came up with a goal line stand. Got off the field on fourth down and goal. And this is a deep ball down the sideline. Dropped in the bucket and out of bounds inside the five. He is a man coverage beater. Nye Carr behind the defense again. And trying to cut into the Colquitt County leave. And Walker speeds to the edge. And it's a touchdown for the second time for Bo Walker. Cedar Grove on third and goal, quick snap. And it's the quarterback in for a touchdown with EJ Colson. Let's just run free, you gotta know where he is. And back up the middle, and that's in for a touchdown. Set up by the Landon Thomas, strike down the middle. Dennis closes it out. I was close here, Connor. You see Dennis, he's going to be fighting hard, working. Oh, outstanding stretch there. With the five yards after the contact for Walker, it's second down and ten. Play fake, Colson, touchdown. Devin Carter off of the play fake as Cedar Grove back on the board. You can almost say a deserved touchdown for Carter. He's made some plays tonight, taking some big hits, but it starts with Colson right over pace, the linebacker. Excellent throw. Off me, wow. Now to the end zone, he's tough and he can sling it. Colson to Carter again. And with this personnel earlier with Landon Thomas lining up behind center. And he follows his lead blockers and he's in again. A third touchdown for Landon Thomas. Who's going to Florida State? Well, either take your time or just give it to the number one ranked tight end in the country and just take it. They scored on this earlier this time. You mentioned Thomas in a Wildcat. Let's his blockers get things set up, lowers his shoulder, just pounds it in. Colson, end zone, and he's got it back into the end zone. Devin Carter with a third connection in the second half with his quarterback, Colson. Wow, he just thread that through a lot. Of and one more kneel down, and without anything crazy happening, which it doesn't. This will be a Colquitt County win to get to 5-0 on the season. So Sean Calhoun, part of the state championship teams here in 2014 and 2015, coming back the last couple years to be the head coach this time, as his team nationally ranks undefeated, and now with a national TV win in his pocket as well. So the Packers win it by eight, hanging on after they led it by 29 points.